name's Elizabeth and I'm here to help you get those really high notes out of the clarinet. I'm talking about our altissimo register, which is anything higher than a C. For most clarinetists, this is going to fall in about the high C sharp, high G range, but some really good ones can play even higher than that. So you can look up fingering charts to figure out how to hit those notes and use the right fingerings, but that's not going to be all there is to actually making the note sound good or even respond in the first place. There are a couple of different things you need to do with your air and with your tongue that will help you actually make the note respond. Rule number one of clarinetting, well, maybe not rule number one, but it's an important rule about the tongue. Your tongue affects the pitch of the note. Embouchure affects tone. A lot of people think it's the other way around, but if you're trying to play higher notes, you don't want to tighten your embouchure. In fact, you don't want to tighten anything, hardly ever. Take the word tighten out of your vocabulary when it comes to music. You can think strong corners, um, strengthen your corners, but don't think tighten. Anything that tightens restricts the vibration of the reed. So when you're playing and you want to adjust your tongue position, how do you do that? Well, you want to think different vowel sounds in your head as you're trying to play. When you're playing C sharp, D, or E flat, you'll want to think O. Oh. This will also help you drop your jaw and relax a little bit so you avoid biting the reed so much. It's pretty simple. You'll want to play around with it a little bit. Um, how much do you have to think O? Oh, like I said, drop that jaw. Um, just figure out what works best for you to get that good tone quality. But if you're going to play higher than a C sharp, a D, or E flat, you'll want to think E. This raises your tongue a little bit. Not too bad. Um, you'll want to check yourself with a tuner to make sure you're in tune, especially as you get higher. You might start to be a little flat, and that means you'll want to think E more, raise your tongue more, raise the note a little bit. Play around with a tuner in your tongue position to figure out what works best for you. Now, you might still have some problems hitting high notes, even if you do all the things I just said. So here are some problems that you might want to look out for. One of the first things you'll want to look at if you can't get a high note to respond is how much mouthpiece you have in your mouth. Now, to play the altissimo range, you actually want to push the mouthpiece in your mouth a little bit more. And the way you'll want to do that is by pushing up with the right thumb on the thumb rest, which if you have a nice comfy thumb rest cushion like I do, shouldn't be a problem. So you should notice that as I was pulling the mouthpiece out of my mouth, the pitch fell and eventually it just stopped responding altogether. Um, but as I pushed it in, it responded. So you'll want to experiment with how much mouthpiece you put in your mouth when you're playing higher notes, and you might want to even take more mouthpiece in as you go higher than the C sharp that I was just playing. Something else that you'll want to take a look at is how you're articulating. Um, if you're not using tongue on the tip of the reed articulation, your high notes won't respond immediately. So some students, or younger students especially, will try to articulate with their throat or make a K sound or tongue on the roof of their mouth. You got a tongue, tip of the reed, tip of the, um, tip of the tongue, tip of the reed. And that'll take a lot of practice. And it could be a whole other video in and of itself, but I'll just move on for now. Um, something else that could be causing problems is biting on the reed. So like a lot of upward pressure from the bottom jaw this will stop the reed from vibrating. Um, so you'll want to just kind of loosen up. Remember, think, oh, drop the jaw a little bit. Don't be tight. Strong corners, not tight all around the reed. The last thing you'll want to keep in mind is good posture and good air. To get a good posture, you want to keep your butt at the front of the seat, back straight, shoulders relaxed, just like that. I know you can't see my lower half, but I have my knees bent at a 90 degree angle and my feet flat on the ground. And you'll want to use a constant airstream while you're playing, a strong airstream. Um, weak air just isn't going to get a good tone. To get a nice strong airstream, deep breaths from the diaphragm. You should feel your, You should feel and see your stomach moving while you breathe. And whatever you do, don't breathe in through your nose. 
I know I do that a lot when I play, and I'm, it's a hard habit to break if um, you're just starting out, so don't do that. <laughs> um, but that's basically all I have. Um, let me know in the comments if you're able to get some higher notes out, if any of my tips helped, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. This has been Clarinet Council with Cooley, the part of the show where Cooley gives counsel on the clarinet.